So last week, I did an extensive look at why squareness matters so much in carpentry. And I mentioned in that video that I would soon discuss a built-in lumber hack that every carpenter uses in the field to square things up easily. This is one of those fundamental principles of lumber that you learn in the first week on the job site, but may never hear about if you don't work professionally. It's the concept of the factory edge. Today, I'm gonna to talk about what the factory edge is, why it's so important, and how we use it as carpenters. And that's coming up next on The Honest Carpenter Show. So the term factory edge refers to the perimeter of a piece of sheet lumber after it has gone all the way through the milling process. In other words, it's simply the fresh edge of a piece of sheet lumber. And it's technically every edge of that sheet because every sheet has four sides. In construction, the factory edge is sort of sacred. It's like another tool that we use to build things properly, and it's something that we try to protect and preserve on the job site. But why is it so important? It's because when a sheet panel comes straight from the mill, its squareness is essentially perfect. So the sheet itself becomes a tool for finding and maintaining squareness in a number of ways while we build with it. For instance, when framers are building a floor system or installing trusses, they'll use factory edges to determine the alignment of certain framing members. Trusses in particular tend to bow and lean before they're secured. So framers will establish the first piece of sheathing in the lower corner of the roof. Then they'll use the outer edge of that piece of sheathing to tell them where the center line of the outer truss should sit. They'll essentially drag the truss into line and know that it's in the right place because the edge of the sheathing is a perfectly square line at eight feet. Furthermore, many lumber companies are striping sheathing these days at 16 inches or 24 inch intervals relative to the factory edge. This lets us line up interior joists, trusses, or studs exactly with these pre-marked points, quickly squaring those members up as well. And because the factory edge is so reliably square, we can then butt adjacent sheets up to the first one and trust that in sequence, they'll make and maintain a straight line across the structure extending from the first corner. So every subsequent sheet will be square to the initial edge. And factory edges also give us reliable points to pull precise measurements from. I can't overstate how important this is. Because on a job site, lots of partial lumber gets discarded or set aside. Some of it will have wavy cut edges. If you pull a high and low measurement from an unchecked edge, there's a very good chance that your new cut line will be out of whack. So you'll always hear a foreman or a lead carpenter say, pull from a factory edge. What they mean is use one of the original milled edges to hook your tape onto. We know we can trust this edge because it's from the factory. And this becomes extremely crucial when setting up angle cuts like pieces beneath a gable because we may be pulling from two reference edges and they need to be perfectly square to one another. And it's not just framing where factory edges help. Sometimes here in the shop, I'll use factory edges to quickly square up cabinets and boxes. Here's the little box I made last week. I could square it up by pulling diagonals, but if I'm gonna put a back on it, I'll just be sure to use a ply piece with a factory corner. Now I can simply use the ply piece as a sight line that tells me when my boards are pulled into square. I've used versions of this technique numerous times in dozens of applications. Sometimes a factory corner is just another way to corroborate if something is square. Or it can be your whole method for squaring up a box or even a small floor. And I can hear woodworkers out there shouting, but those edges aren't always perfect. Woodworkers are fanatical about precision. But what they'll often mean is that the edge might have small imperfections like pits and bumps. Many of these things happen during storage and transport. But on anything with a larger scale, factory edges are very reliable, in my experience. The tricky part just becomes recognizing them over time. Knowing which edge is the factory on a board that's already been cut once. Sheathing panels will often have a sealed factory edge to fight water intrusion. This makes identifying them very easy. And other lower grade ply products may have colorful stripes on the edge another surefire marker. But higher grades and thinner panels may have no marker on their factory edge. So how do you recognize them? It can be tricky, but I'll actually look for the edge that has a duller, scratched up look. New cut edges will be light and fresh, but factory edges will be aged a bit. Also, if you can see saw strokes or any substantial waver, it's typically not your factory edge. It's a cut edge. So to round things up, when you're pulling measurements on sheet goods, Always be sure you're pulling from the factory edge. It's the only reference point you can routinely trust. And if you're looking for a fast way to square things up, consider the perfectly square edges and corners that come with your sheet lumber. They can help you in so many different applications. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to check back in for more videos coming up soon. 
and please consider subscribing and hitting that bell button to turn on notifications. That way you'll know the moment we post something. I'm Ethan James with TheHonestCarpenter.com. I'll see you next time.